So who is who is here and it's your first time doing yoga nidra? Okay. Most people. Yeah, right. Wonderful. Where to start then? Um so for me, I've been really enjoying this non-sleep deep rest frame for yoga nidra because I think it it says what it is a little bit more clearly than the phrase yoga nidra. And just this idea that you, it's a meditation, you're lying down, your body goes into ostensibly a deep relaxation. But you know, sometimes when you go into meditation, what you actually find is something else like anxiety or whatever's actually present. So we don't do the practice with the imposition that we have to relax because that will make us more tense. But in the process of meeting the tension, the body does often naturally relax. And so uh, the non-sleep deep rest frame does come from Andrew Huberman, who's a neuroscientist out of Stanford and coined that term because he studies it in his lab. So that's, a, that's where I get that from. Um, but yoga nidra as a practice is, is really a way to encounter your experience and to meet it in a meditative way that's very kind and gentle because your nervous system is is in this sort of relaxation response because you've brought turned attention inward. And then because of the lying down, there's kind of a, a holding feeling that's there or um, a relaxing that that's there because of the beginning of the practice. And then in the practice, you can do different things with it. You can explore a thought, you can work with a challenging emotion, you can explore the nature of awareness or whatever is in your meditation to explore, that's what's here for you. So um, I want to just open it up that I'm going to guide the practice, but we'll actually get what we get <laughs> and we'll, we'll have our own experience. So if you're here and you really want to work with something really particular and I'm going a different direction, just, just use my voice as a, as a sort of background and you can go your own direction with it. Um, I wanted to work tonight with emotions and this is an kind of important part of the yoga nidra practice because what happens is we're, I'm going to guide you through this body scan and breath work and setting an intention. And then we're going to just inquire to see, are there any emotions that are present? This could be an emotion that you'd like to work with or something you just turn toward your inner experience and you check and see what's there. And then you work with what comes in the moment. And um, in meditation, often the instruction is notice the emotion, see the nature of the emotion, let it pass, something like that. There are all kinds of other ways you can work with it in meditation. But in this practice, we, we can do a few different things. But one of them is we look at the emotion as a somatic felt sense in the body. So... Um, we're turning toward the emotion as it appears in our body as sensation. That's the, that's the basic fundamental way of meeting the emotion as it is. The part of us that's meeting that emotion is aware of the emotion. And that awareness is what is kind of the resting, the background resting in this practice. If that makes sense. We'll explore it. Um, and there are a couple different ways to work with emotions in this practice. One is that very direct meeting it as a body sensation. And another one is to actually feel the emotion. And then if a door opens and the emotion walks in, what does it look like? And we dialogue with the emotion and get the message from it, in other words. So that's another way. Um, a third way is to work with opposites where you feel the emotion and then you feel the opposite and you go back and forth between the two. And then there's some part of you that just holds the totality of your emotional, the emotional spectrum of that emotion. So like fear and peacefulness and that you gain more comfort in surfing between opposites of emotions. So the, the utility of this is just to help us learn to turn toward our experience and meet it with that generosity, with that um, restful awareness 
that isn't refusing it to be here? Was it such a knee-jerk reaction to refuse emotions that are hard? And so in a way, it's a mindfulness training to, to be able to be present with something long enough to inquire like this. So it's the being with. Um, when I was working with the UN, we developed this peace on purpose program for humanitarian workers. And the whole first day was being with, learning about being with your experience. And the whole second day was working with. How do you actually meet and encounter and engage and transform and uh, live out in a more embodied way, you know, what your learning is. And um, so when we get to the emotion part, we're gonna do the being with and the working with and just see what resonates with you. Um, you can bring in, so if I if I asked right now, I'm not gonna make you say, it, but if I asked right now, what emotion would you wanna work with this evening in the practice? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Just kind of note inwardly, whatever it is that came to your mind when I said that. And then we can go in with possibly that, or maybe there's something you want to be really intentional about and you want to work with um, a feeling of disappointment or joy. I mean, it can be any emotion at all. It's just the practice helps us to, to meet our experience in a way that just gives space around it. So that's the theme I came in with this evening. <laughs> what I'm curious if anyone has any questions or reflections before we do the practice, and I'll describe a little bit about the practice as well. No questions. Yeah, Rob. So I'm a pretty emotional person. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, you could be with that feeling of sort of calm. Yeah. Yeah, we're... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, cause that might be powerful to work with if there's often a lot of emotion there that's different from that. Um, or once you get to that part of the practice, just there might be something that comes up that surprises you. And then I would go with that. Did you have a question too? Yeah, I just... Um... Not sure if you're going to ask us during the meditation, mm -hmm. but you alluded to uh, choosing an intention. That's always a, uh, an obstacle for me. Okay. Because I, um, if I if I if I choose an intention, yeah, my meditation ends up being nothing about what I intended. It's almost like I can make sure I'm going to get something else. Yes. If I choose an intention. So I'm wondering if yeah. there's a way to mm -hmm. address that idea in such a way mm -hmm. that I'm open to whatever arises mm -hmm. whilst, while creating a context for all of that. Yeah, that's good. That's a great question uh, about intentions. And I would just say if often whatever your intention is doesn't happen at all, and that's, that's actually good news because you're being with what's really emerging and you're not forcing or imposing what you thought you needed to do. Um, one way around that is to do just what you said and say, my intention is to be with whatever comes up and then maybe fill in the blank in this kind of a way. And maybe your intention is more about your way of being than the actual thing that you're working with. Mm -hmm. and, and then you check and see, how was that? How was that at the end? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? And uh, if you fall asleep, that's fine. <laughs> that happens a lot. So if you fall asleep, um, yeah, as I say, if you if you hear someone snoring, check and see if it's you. And um, yeah, you sometimes the body just goes in and out of states of sleep, and and um, that's absolutely natural and part of the meditation practice. So we're not refusing that here. And if you can be, be lighthearted about it, like we get to be in kindergarten nap mode time here. <laughs> like how often is it you just walk into a room and plop down on mats next to however many other strangers, <laughs> um, leave friends, but you know, we're coming in just, everybody's coming from wherever they came from. And so if there's a way that, that you could even just begin with an appreciation of that, you know, it's really neat that we get to, that we get to do this thing. <laughs> so yeah, when we get into the practice. So what I would suggest, um, it's great if, if you 
if you need to use the restroom or something to do that now, um, I, I will start guiding the practice and just so uh, it can keep the space in here. And however, if you need to leave, that's fine too. Um, what I would suggest is that you um, get just as comfortable as possible. So we have some examples all throughout the room right now. Um, the, the best position for yoga nidra is on your back, but if there's a reason why you don't want to be on your back, that's fine too. It's, this isn't the kind of thing that um, we're saying it has to be a certain way, but it's typically taught on your, on your back with a bolster, the, that blue bolster is there for underneath your knees or use any of these bolsters, however you'd like, um, you can have a pillow, you can, uh, use the blanket and settle into a position that you feel like you can really be there for the next about 40 minutes. You know, we'll see how long the practice goes. And if you can really, um, allow yourself to find a position that's comfortable enough that you could really relax into that for a period of time. Is everybody okay temperature wise? Do I need to turn it down? Feels good. Okay, great. So as I said, I'm Kelly. <laughs> Didn't do too much of an introduction, but been teaching yoga nidra for 15 years in lots of different places. And I regularly practice it myself. Hey. Yeah, so begin by noticing the breath. Just the gentle flow of the breath in and out. You may notice your belly rising and falling. And if you can, sort of catch the wave of the breath as it comes in so that you're just behind, like riding the wave with your attention. It crests and then it goes out and so ride the wave of the breath out so this takes you out of the doer and, and controller of your meditation belly rising and falling breath coming and going and we're going to start tonight in this exploration of a quality of ease and well-being in your body. So we're going to start with this kind of inner resource, the feeling that I can be here, safe to be me. I don't need a social mask. Maybe thinking of an image of a memory, maybe with an animal or a loved one or in nature that when you're here, you feel like you can truly be at ease. See what word comes to you. It might be that you have a sense of well-being. It might be that you feel safe. Or it might be something like deeply relaxed. So we're starting the meditation, riding the wave of the breath, and tuning in to this quality of inner resource perhaps a memory or just a body sense of feeling really at ease, like all is well. Perhaps you felt that before and remembering the memory of that, or maybe you feel that now, and tuning in. Notice what happens in your body when you feel that sense of being resourced internally. Maybe there's like a relaxation in your shoulders, whatever it is that happens. So as I'm guiding this first part of the practice, continue to ride the wave of the breath in and out, whatever that means for you. Mindful awareness of the breath.
And see if there is an intention for the practice. So an intention perhaps to relax, to meet an emotion, to be here for a sacred reason that you brought. So name that intention inwardly. It takes patience and presence to really attune to our inner environment. So if you can, just bring patience as you follow the breath in and out, name your intention and connect with a sense of well-being. Welcoming also anything else that may be present too. So not needing everything to feel good but we're turning towards resource and well-being as a start to the practice. Let's feel the whole backside of your body as it rests into the surface that supports you. What if all of your attention is now absorbed in the whole backside of your body Resting on the cushions. Perhaps taking a deeper inhalation. And then exhale all the way out, a long, slow exhalation, feeling the whole backside of your body surface that's supporting you. Maybe letting go of what came before. Letting it sort of melt into the cushions. And being here with the simplicity of your own breathing. So we'll do a body scan and start first by just opening all of the senses. So the ears to sound, noticing the sound of my voice and the other sounds in the room, taste and smell, touch of air on the skin, any shadow or lights or shapes across the eyelids. You feel yourself as a, like a sensing organism, just kind of raw, open sensing. Body breathing, it's a very natural process of meditation, just tuning back into the very natural rhythms, breathing, feeling, resting. Bring attention to your jaw. Notice if there's any tightness or holding in your jaw. You may sort of move your jaw around a little bit. Sensing both ears. So first your left ear. When I name a body part, just notice what you feel. You may feel nothing. You may feel tingling or any kind of sensation, warm. Sensing now your right ear. Notice any sensations that are present. Now the mind can't easily be on two objects at once, so let go of thinking. Just feel both ears. Pure sensation. Riding the wave of the breath in and out, jaw relaxed, cheeks relaxed. Bring attention to your eyes. Notice if there's any holding, like a gripping behind your eyes. So first, your left eye. 
Then your right eye. As you notice any tension, can you invite it to release? So it's like all these little muscles just start to let go. Your cheeks behind your eyes, sensing now both eyes simultaneously. The forehead, crown of the head, back of your head. So you're, you're sensing now your whole head and face, back of your neck. There's no correct way to do this. If you notice the mind come in and start thinking about something, notice it as a thought passing through awareness. And then gently turn attention back toward just the sensation in your body. Bringing attention to your left shoulder. Take an inhale, deep inhale. Pause at the top of the inhale. And then with the exhalation, allow energy and attention to flow all the way down your left arm to the palm of your left hand. You may squeeze and release your left fist or just leave it as is. Could you now feel as if you only have a left arm and left hand, nothing else, all of your attention focused on your left arm, left hand, and your breath? Now bring attention to your right shoulder, taking an inhalation and pausing at the top of the inhale. Exhale all the way down your right arm to the palm of your right hand. You may squeeze and release your right fist or just follow the flow of the breath, sensing your right arm and hand. And again, it's as if all of your attention is so absorbed in your right arm and hand that you have... That's all you have, that's all you are. We'll do that thing again where we feel both. So sensing now both shoulders, take an inhale, exhale all the way down both arms to the palms of both hands, maybe squeezing and releasing the fists. Feeling how the sensation arises in your awareness. Feeling the belly rising and falling, maybe the chest as well. Your heart, any other organs, just your whole torso and your whole back as it rests into the surface you're on. Lots of times we hold tension in our belly. So as you breathe in and out, bring attention to your belly. If there is any contraction or kind of like a grip. With each successive exhalation, just let that go a little bit more. Just kind of release any unnecessary gripping that may just be unconscious. And just allowing the belly to feel open, relaxed, spacious. Remembering that felt sense of ease and well-being, this memory that connects you with that. It might be helpful as you look at just letting go of tension in the belly. Now notice your left hip, take an inhalation. Big inhale, pausing at the top of the inhale. Exhale all the way down the left leg to the sole of the left foot. So you're breathing in and out, sensing left leg and left foot only.
Shifting attention to the right hip. Inhale. Pause. And exhale all the way down the right leg to the sole of the right foot. Just body sensation. You might just feel a little bit. You might feel movement of energy or like a pulsing, anything at all. Just notice whatever it is that you're experiencing. And then both simultaneously. So inhaling both hips, exhaling both legs and both feet. Let go of thinking, just sensing, breathing. Welcoming the whole body now into awareness. You rest back as this quality of awareness. It's like a spacious awareness that's aware of the breath coming and going, aware of the body sensations coming and going, aware of sounds. We'll do a heart space breathing practice. This is a Taoist practice. So bringing attention to the heart with an inhale. And then as you exhale, allow that exhalation to cascade out through the whole body to the border and boundary of your body. Inhaling all the way back to the heart. Exhaling all the way out to the whole body, fingertips, toes, crown of the head. So follow the rhythm of the breath, breathing into the heart. And then as you exhale out into the body, could you feel just out into a couple inches around the body? So exhaling out into the space around you. Just however it makes sense to you to do this exercise, there's not a correct way to do it. Breathing into the heart and breathing out all the way into space around you. And feeling your body sort of enveloped by or held by the space around you, by the support. Tune in with the natural rhythm of the breath. As you continue this heart space breathing exercise. You may begin to tune into or feel this quality of space that the breath is like coming and going within that, but it's not separate from it. And you're feeling the felt sense of that. Again, if the mind comes in and thoughts, then just sort of let them drift by and return attention to breathing into the heart, exhaling out as far out into the space around the body as feels right. Allowing the nervous system to downregulate, inviting in a sense of calm, of ease. Even if there's a feeling of stress, or even if there's also other feelings here of contraction, you're also tuning in, relaxing back into this feeling of spacious awareness. 
doesn't refuse the different things that are coming and going. So what's it like to just melt right back into that awareness, being the awareness? Still tuning in and feeling your heart, your breath. If there are qualities of deep space or spaciousness, so let yourself explore what that's like to be in touch with spaciousness, vastness. Notice how the breath is coming and going. Thoughts are coming and going. a gentleness toward your experience here. So just notice, is there an emotion that's present that would be important to meet in this meditation? Notice what comes to you. There's a particular emotion that's present for you today be joy, it could be grief, it could be a mixture. Disappointment or any other number of emotions, just see what comes, what comes to be met. So if there is an emotion that is present, if you'd like to turn toward one, just turn toward an emotion, invite it in. So feeling how you feel when this emotion is here. So for instance, if it's sadness, you just feel the sensation of sadness in your body, your chest, your belly, your face. You notice what that feels like as just a sensation, welcoming it to be here, not refusing it. You feel the welcoming quality of awareness that's meeting the emotion as sensation. It's like, oh, this is here. This is here. I'm just turning toward it. If nothing comes to you, then continue just meditating with the breath, perhaps with the heart space breathing exercise. Just notice what unfolds. But if this emo emotion were a messenger knocking at your door with a message to give you, we'll just do part of the practice where we listen for the message. So just imagine yourself in a sacred space, maybe in a room, where you feel comfortable and then you, you hear a knock at the door and you open the door and this emotion just comes in. So notice what does the emotion look like? How old is it? Is there a name? And then we're just gonna meet the emotions we've already feel feeling it in our body, a sensation. And as this emotion has come into the room, we've welcomed it in. How is it to be with this emotion? How is it to be together in the room? Notice how you feel, how the emotion feels. Again, this is all just exploration. So whatever is coming to you is perfect just as it is. And we're going to just dialogue with the emotion to listen for the message. So it might be, 
a purple blob. It might be a person. It might be you at a younger age, whatever it is. Just so we're meeting, feeling, welcoming, being with the emotion. And then I'm just going to ask three questions. So if you were to ask this emotion, what is it that you want? What is it that you want? Just notice what it says back to you. We're listening to the wisdom of our psyche. Just receiving the answer. And next, ask the emotion, and what is it that you need? I've heard what you want, and what is it that you need? You're just listening with this gentle openness. What is it that the emotion shares back? Well, this is what I need. And might not say anything, might just be emoting. Whatever is present, just being with it without any judgment or refusal. And then just asking, is there an action I can take to give you what you need? Is there an action I can take to give you what you want or need? And listen for the response. It's the wisdom of your body, your mind. And then just be so embodying this quality of awareness. It is with the emotion intimately, not refusing it. Continuing to be with this scene filling itself out, the sacred space that you're with this emotion. Letting it be whatever it is. There's no correct way. And then just thinking the emotion, you can perhaps tell the emotion it's welcome to come and go as it likes and just making a commitment perhaps that if it knocks on your door again, that you'll listen, turn toward, sit with it, meet it, not refuse it. Notice your experience, what it's like to be here now, breathing in and out, rested, this quality of awareness, intimate with what's arising. So intimate with this emotion, your breath, body sensations. Not separate, feeling that inner connectivity. It may actually feel like a vast spaciousness. And perhaps there's a sense of the heart, like a joy, like a light joy or a happiness, just contentment. And if anything else at all is present and turning toward that with that same quality of welcoming awareness, this too, this too is here, this too.
So the breath coming and going, emotions. Now you can feel how they're coming and going in your experience. You even perhaps imagine in the future, this emotion visits, it arises in your body as a sensation and it's welcome to be there. It's okay to be there. It's becoming a friend. So just picture that, that future moment. Are you really making peace with what comes and goes in your experience? And then let go of directing attention to an emotion or to the breath or anywhere else. And simply be in meditation. When we just rest in meditation, there can be different qualities that arise. So notice and you're just being, just meditating, what quality for you arises? Is it clarity, spaciousness? Perhaps another emotion arises and really wants some attention. If so, turn toward that. But if not, rest back. Like Let yourself rest all the way back into your whole backside of your body. It's like letting go even more anything that you're holding on to, any unnecessary tension in your body, do another body scan, check and see in your throat, shoulders, chest, belly, thighs, feet. You let go even more. Tune in, is there any sort of very slight sense of joy or well-being here? It's, it's here as sort of a fragrance of the practice of meditation, just a contentment or an ease or well-being or joy. Just noticing so all your senses are open. Try to let go of any controlling or directing the meditation now. Just rest. So you notice the body may go shift down into states of sleep. It may shift back out of states of sleep. Just notice what's happening in the body and just be the awareness that's aware of the states shifting. Picturing perhaps yourself going through the rest of the evening and carrying this kind of being carried by the meditation all the way into the evening. Maybe if you're driving, eating, getting into bed, but there's a sense of the meditation just continues all the way into sleep.
the last few minutes, we'll just meditate with this open awareness. So you may feel a, a spacious awareness that's aware of all that's coming and going, sounds, emotions, thoughts. Rest all the way back, kind of fall back into this open awareness. Check back in with um, the intention that you set inwardly at the beginning of the practice, noticing how is that now? Is there any commitment you'd like to make or make space for, is there anything that is left in the meditation now that would like to be acknowledged or seen before we close? Just make space for something to appear before you, an insight, a commitment, anything at all. And if, if your body has fallen asleep, just sort of allow it to gently wake back up, just coming up out of sleep and noticing how that feels to come up out of the liminal state in between waking and sleeping. And we'll close the practice here, but let yourself take some time. So however much time you need, to uh, maybe wiggle your fingers and toes and just slowly, really, you have all the time in the world. We have plenty of time. And coming out of the practice. You may want to stay just where you are for a little bit, just really resting in the stillness um, where you may feel ready to stretch and move and
Yeah, so feel free to pull your, your knees in toward your chest and roll off to one side. And then just gently take your time in uh, coming back up to a seated position, so just at your own pace. Um. And as you come back, just if there are any uh, questions or reflections, we'll have some space for that. So just to open it up, if there are questions about um, the practice we just did or yoga nidra in general, or um, sometimes with groups, there's so much silence in the room, it just, <laughs> everyone files out <laughs> um, without saying much. And sometimes there's a lot to be shared. So you don't need to share if there's not something present, but I wanted to, we'll just give it a little time and see if anyone has anything for the three of you here, we did have the extra space over there. <laughs> 